Saint Theodore the Tyrant was from Amasia in Pontus. He was a Roman soldier during Maximian's great persecution. He is a saint not particularly for his remarkable life. He is a typical early church martyr. More interesting is the fact that he appeared in a dream to a heretic bishop in the 4th century, managing to prevent entire swaths of the Christian population from eating food defiled by blood from pagan sacrifices. We will learn the story of this amazing saint today. He's called Theodore of Amasia for the place, or Theodore Tyrant, as Tiro is a classical Latin word that describes a soldier who has recently enlisted. He is therefore also known as Theodore the Recruit. He had been a Christian since childhood, but kept his faith secret, not out of cowardice, but because he had not yet received a sign from God to present himself for martyrdom. While his troop was stationed near the town of Eukata, he learned that the people of the district lived in terror of a dreadful dragon. The dragon often attacked the villagers whenever it was hungry. And then he would go back and stay in its lair in the surrounding forest. He realized that here was the quest in which God would show him whether the time had come to offer himself for martyrdom. Going deep into the woods, he met an abandoned village whose only remaining occupant was a Christian princess named Eusebia. She told him where the monster had its lair. He set off to find it, arming himself with the sign of the cross. And when he confronted the roaring, fire-spitting beast, he thrust his spear through its head and killed it. Convinced that now, by God's grace, he would be able to vanquish the spiritual dragon, the devil, just as he had felled the dragon, Theodore returned to the camp, ready to confess his faith. This is a quick break to make an appeal to our viewers who watch and learn from our videos. We have been making one new video every week for the last three years. Being a team of very few people, this is such a huge feat for us. We were able to produce these videos using the revenue generated from YouTube and by the support of our kind-hearted viewers via Patreon and PayPal donations. The last few months had been really tough for us. There was a significant decline in YouTube revenues. The drop is almost 50% compared to last year. Here is our appeal. If you think you and your kids learned something from our videos or benefit in any kind, then please support us by making a one-time donation through PayPal or become a supporter on Patreon. Your support will go a long way in keeping up with the productions and bringing the amazing stories of saints to life. Remember, every small contribution helps. It can be as low as $2, the price of your next coffee. Support us to keep making more videos. God bless you. The next day, Commander Brinkus asked all soldiers to offer sacrifice to the gods of empire. All soldiers assembled and offered the sacrifice. Except Theodore who firmly confessed his faith in Christ the Savior in a loud voice. I am a Christian. I adore only Christ. He is the king whom I serve, and to him only am I willing to offer sacrifice. The commander gave him several days to think it over during which time 
Theodore prayed. They charged him with setting a pagan temple on fire and threw him into prison to be starved to death. The Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him there, comforting and encouraging him. Thus comforted, Theodore spent his time chanting hymns with the angels. His captors thought that other Christians must have joined him there. When offered bread and water, Theodore refused it, saying that Christ had promised him food from heaven. He was brought before the authorities again, and they offered him the post as a high priest. Theodore smiled and refused their offer. He was subjected to new torments and condemned to burning. The martyr Theodore climbed onto the fire without hesitation and with prayer gave up his holy soul to God. Unharmed by the fire, the body of St. Theodore was buried in the city of Eucada, not far from Amasia. In 361, Julian the Apostate was doing his utmost to restore pagan customs. Knowing that the Christians were accustomed to sanctify the first week of Lent by fasting and prayer, he commanded the city commander to sprinkle all the food provisions in the marketplaces with the blood offered to idols. Julian wanted no one in the city to escape the contagion of idolatry. However, Theodore appeared in a dream to Archbishop Eudoxius, ordering him to inform all the Christians that no one should buy anything at the marketplaces the next day. As instructed, Eudoxius instructed his people to eat cooked wheat with honey or koyiva. The church has commemorated this miracle ever since on the first Saturday of Great Lent in order to remind the faithful that fasting and temperance have the power to cleanse all the stains of sin. We pray to St. Theodore for the recovery of stolen articles. O God, who hast set about us the protection of the glorious confession of thy blessed martyr Theodore, grant that we may ever profit by the following of his example and be sustained by the succor of his intercession. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.